Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, Wednesday of the third week of Advent. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, Eternal Majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example we may in humility Hold fast to your will, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Have you ever done a trust walk where you are blindfolded and someone guides you around, or a trust fall where you simply fall backward and someone catches you? Those experiences require a lot of trust in the people who are guiding or catching you. And that's what this Gospel reminds me of today. Mary says, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And she surrenders to God's will for her life, completely trusting that he will be there to catch her. Today's Gospel of Luke invites us into a true contemplation of faith and surrender and how Mary's response embodies the essence of Advent. I was doing my daily prayers today, and I was asking God for all of the usual things to bless my family, especially our kids, my wife, and all of our extended family and friends. I thanked him for the many blessings that he has given to me. And then I asked him for something that I think might have been a little bit selfish, and it gave me pause. I asked him that I might live a long life so that I could continue to be there for my wife and my kids and even meet my grandkids someday. I know as selfish requests go, that's not so bad, but God spoke to my heart that my life and my death are in his hands. I can take care of myself, I can try to be careful with my health, but ultimately, it's up to him if I live a long life. None of us has the ability to interpret God's will when it comes to our own mortality or those that we love. Mary probably didn't know that her yes to God would mean that her son would have to sacrifice himself for the whole world, a death that was unimaginably painful for him and for her. 
That's where trust in God gets very real for Mary and for us. Mary's yes to God should be our yes today too, not because we expect from a mortal perspective that we're going to have the perfect ending to our lives, but that whatever end we have will bring God's perfect plan for our lives to completion. Our preparation for Christmas is more than just a remembering of Christ's birth. It's a preparation for the day when we are to meet him in paradise. So let's try to remember that our lives should be aimed at fulfilling God's plan and not necessarily ours. Let's live each day echoing Mary's yes to God's will. And so today, let's pray for the intercession of Mary that we may be open to the workings of the Holy Spirit in our lives and respond with the same faith and courage as she did. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.